from Rupp Arena in Lexington, Kentucky, it's University of Kentucky Wildcat Basketball. Tonight, it's the University of Kentucky Wildcats versus the East Tennessee Buccaneers. Maybe a step beyond that. Otherwise, they're going to let the team swing it side to side, pressure on the ball, and try to guard all five players. Wow. We talked about Josh Harrelson. He got the first rebound of the game. And his first shot guy, Kyle, he's a really good basketball coach. Yeah, real good mind. Obviously has great genes. Gene Bartow, former coach of UCLA in Memphis. So he grew up and caught for a 10-second violation. Yeah, and I think also what he's talking about this timeout is there you see we talked about their pack defense. You don't allow a man to get all the way to the rim as Brandon Knight did that time for the layup. It's that time going the defensive glass. So far, Kentucky's done a pretty good job other than that second foul on Harrelson not giving up offensive boards. Knight with a long three. And what a pretty looking jump shot from Brandon Knight. Yeah, all the way down the court and finish at the rim for a layup. Bad defense. Round 6'8", 230. Court Ritchie, Florida, as Deron Lamb checks in. Number five, Sheldon Cooley, 6'3", 190-pound senior, in for ETSU. Lamb went right by Cooley. And Deron Lamb making... I thought we would see some zone from the Buccaneers tonight. Knight with a long three. Speaking of a player, you better get a hand in his face. Nice, nice two-man game between Jones and Deron Lamb. And Murray Bartow is going to have to take a timeout. Lamb and Knight have each hit a couple of threes. And Kentucky has stretched this lead to nine points. Yeah, Jones with an excellent rebound. Dribbles up a little bit, but gets it to his teammate. He gives it right back. The defense shifts over to him, so he makes a simple pass. And Deron Lamb, like I said, I like him coming in off the bench, giving some scoring boost to the offense. Some 2 2 1 full court pressure. Lamb beats it by himself. And there's Jones with a tap in. Buccaneers wanted goaltending. He's a 35% shooter from outside the arc. Here's Miller. Yeah, once again, excellent ball movement by the Cats. Terrence Jones has been very active, you see. He goes up a little early on the jump, but manages to hang long enough and use those long arms to tip it in. As you can see, East Tennessee State didn't believe that it exited the cylinder. We're looking, you know, basketball is a game of adjustments, and uh, each coach trying to make those. Now Jones steps out, hits that three, but. Jones thought about it. Boy, look at him go get his own. That's a one-man dribble drive game right there as John Calipari is off. Allen. Check out Terrence Jones. You know, the shooter knows better than anyone, they say, and, and knew the first one was not coming up, going in, the second one as well, but stood with it. Credit the Kentucky coaching staff, John Calipari at the shoot around today. So the only time we've seen him play 1-3-1 one, one is never. As night hits, but he said, we might see some people play 1-3-1 one, one against us after. Play those teams, you almost have to go to their place. Ideally, you'd like to maybe get some neutral courts if they won't come to your place. Miller. Kentucky 8 of 12. In and out substitutions, trying to keep everybody fresh. It puts a little more emphasis on the coaches, making sure everybody stays fresh out of the court. How about that up and under move from DeAndre Liggins? The way Kentucky's been shooting, you would think they might just match up. And I try to make those big guys try to beat you. Lamb! Three, four, against that zone to against the man. Miller missed that one. Once again, the Cats hit the offensive boards. It was just a great offensive effort to rebound here by John Hood, coming flying in from the weak side and able to get the ball back up and in the basket before Tubbs could try to go. But you could play on both, both sides of the basketball court. Knight. Wow. What a figures that they can't continue to shoot like that because this Kentucky shooting has not brought ETSU out of the zone. Basketball. Williams comes out of there with it. Oh. Nice defense. Liggins and Harrelson both got a piece of it. I'm like ETSU has come here. You see Josh Harrelson coming from the weak side to get that block shot. Saw quite a bit of that last season, the weak side defender coming over to get blocked. Shot clock does not reset, and Liggins on the baseline, but Jones with a big time putback. Last play drive by DeAndre Liggins and Jones coming from the weak side. 
perfect example of what Ennis Cannon would have brought to this team if he got an offensive order a pass down low. So he would have gone up strong as Jones finishes on a nice pass. But Harrelson instead kicks it back out. Ball fake by Jones. How about the floater? Transfer from San Bernardino Valley Community College. Jones on the drive. dribbled floater we've seen that little pull up left-handed one we've seen a tip in we've seen a few rebounds it looks like sometimes when Kentucky is in the offensive end the players as Jones launches a long three the Wildcats are Jones in tonight it looks sometimes like the Kentucky players are breaking down the offense just going one-on-one -on -one. but realistically that's the dribble drive offense attack your defensive player find the weak link Murray Bartow calls a timeout, just kind of drops his head. I can't believe they're shooting as well, he says. Real simple, just uh, didn't pressure the pass, or the shooter there when the pass came in bounds. Again, Jones showing that great passion. A lot of enthusiasm. Smith has it blocked by Harrelson. Nice lead pass from Jones. Smooth little crossover. Brown. Now Cooley has it blocked. Oh, who got that block? That Jones got. Again, his length is so deceptive because he has such long. Shoot the ball, it really hides a lot of problems. Not that there's been a lot of problems for Kentucky, but it really makes you look even better than you are as DeAndre Wiggins hits a three. And Brandon Knight pumping his fist because of the ball movement that got his teammate a great look in a three-point basket. Yeah. A 12 of 20 shooting will take you out of his zone every time. Lamb with a runner. <laughs> Liggins, nice move. He's just driving that step through move again off the glass and then kind of loses his balance and he and Tubbs get tangled. Three to go. And here are the Cats in transition. There's Miller. And that's what the coach wants. And that brought a fist pump from the Kentucky bench. Giving up a layup. Knight. Tough shot by Brandon Knight as he got it to go off the wind. Person who is in the way of the swinging elbows, not the swinger. Boy, there it is. Jones! Kentucky deciding to attack. Man out front, but that ball was not going anywhere but up. Lamb. Nice job in transition. His debut since Jules Kamara in 1998. As Jones adds to those numbers. You see Brandon Knight with a little left-handed lob and Jones finishing with the two-hand slam. Boy, the court vision by Knight. Long three by DeAndre Liggins. The kind of night it has been for the Cats. A 33 for what had to be that shock in the last day of so, or finding out that Ennis Canner would not be eligible. And an appeal now coming. An outstanding regular season opener for this Kentucky basketball team as they knock off ETSU by a count of 88 to 65.